We've seen how we can use our Power Query, which is now called Get and Transform, to look at data that we have locally and how we can use the Query Editor to decide what we want from that data. Well, how about getting some data from the Internet? Well, if we go to Data, New Query, from other sources, we find there's actually a few places out on the Internet that we can get data. There is directly from a web page, there is data from OdataFeed, or there's data from Facebook. Let's have a look at from OData feed. Now, if you want to query the data that is held on one of these OData feeds, then you need to have the URL of the data feed. In your working file, there is a plain text file called urls.txt that has a couple of examples. We have the Northwind data available through an OData feed and the AdventureWorks data available through an OData feed. These data feeds have effectively been set up for you to use, in this case, with Excel and our Power Query. I'm going to take the AdventureWorks address, copy that, come back to Excel, and paste that into this URL box here. And then when we say OK, a connection will be made, and we'll be presented with the Navigator window, just as we were when we connected to our local Excel file. Now we have some choices to make because there are a number of data items available to us. There are company sales, and when I click on company sales, I get a preview of the data on the right, manufacturing instructions, product catalog, territory sales drill down, and work order routing. So this is data that's been made available to us through this particular OData feed. Let's stick with the product catalog and say edit. In the query editor, I can see that there is a lot of data 999 plus rows of data. I don't want to see all that data, otherwise that's going to slow things down. Let's go to keep rows and keep top rows, and then we'll be given a dialog box, and I just want the top 100 rows. I'm going to say OK. I can then choose close and load, and the data that I've asked for will then be loaded into an Excel table for me to then carry out my manipulations. So I only get the top 100 rows because that's what I've asked for. Obviously, if you are doing this for real, you'd want as much of the data as possible for you to then carry out any of your interrogations. So that's an O data feed in action. We can add another one by going back to data, new query from other sources, from O data feed. Using our text file, let's get the Northwind data. So I'm going to copy that address as well, back to Excel, paste that into the URL for the O data feed. OK, and I'm then make a connection to the Northwind data of which there are many more objects to choose from. So I've got customers, employees, invoices, orders, products, etc. Now in here, I'm going to select the order data. So that's orders, and we'll choose edit. I don't want all the data again. There's 830 rows, just really to speed up the extraction. Let's make it 400. OK, close and load. And in my Excel file, I'm then given another sheet which is sheet five, which is going to pull through the orders information. So 400 rows there. Still have access to the 100 rows from the product catalog. That's actually still building a little working sign there. So that's sheet four and sheet five. Let's add another set of data. Now this time, because I'm going to go back to Northwind, I don't need to go through the process of new query, other sources, O data feed. I can go straight to recent sources, choose the Northwind option, connect, this time I'm going to choose order details into edit. Here there are a lot of rows of information. So again, let's just keep the top view. Let's go for the top 1000. OK, close and load. Now the reason that I've pulled through two sets of data from the Northwind data, so from the Northwind O data feed, is because we're now going to join those two tables together, the orders information and the order details information using a merge option. So let's start with this data, which is the order details data. Under Query Tools and Query, I can edit. And what I'd like to do is combine this by merging this data, which is effectively joining it with the orders data. And what I need to do is select the fields that are the linking fields, which effectively is the order ID to the order ID. And then I choose the type of join, left outer, which is all the records from the first set of data and then anything that matches from the second right outer everything from the orders information and any matching from the order details full outer all rows from both tables inner only the matching rows 
left ante rows only in the first, right ante rows only in the second. Well, effectively, I want an inner join. I only want to see the data that matches from both tables. OK. Now, in the query editor, which is here, I still see the order ID, the product ID, the unit price, the quantity, the discount. But from the order table, you can see I don't see anything. I've just got this column that says order. But if I then click this little icon here, it allows me to choose which of the columns from the order table I would like to see. I'd like to see the customer. I should deselect all of them. Customer ID, the order date, and the ship date, I think is enough. OK. That will then pull in those columns, and they'll be added to the existing columns that I already have from the order details table. And you can see in the applied steps, the steps that I've carried out, I've got the data, I've looked in the navigation, I've kept the first so many rows, which is the first thousand. I've merged with one of the other queries, which is the orders query. And then I've expanded the order column here to see another two or three columns from the orders. And then those selected columns appear in my query editor, which when I then close will load into my Excel document. Just to speed things up slightly, I'm going to choose a smaller keep rows. Let's go for the top 100. OK, close and load. And that data is then loading into my Excel table and it includes the new columns, customer ID, order date and order shipped date. So that's the ability to connect to the external OData feeds. And then not only that, but use two queries and merge them into effectively one. Here we obtain the orders and the order details information, link them together because they are linked in the raw data anyway, and being able to pull through merged elements. Now we could do that with two tables as we did here, but it could even be three or four, and you pull that result into Excel for you to then carry out your interrogation with charts and pivot tables and sorting and filtering.